Hey everyone, so today's video was a really exciting tutorial. Um, I don't want to waste any time in the intro, but I'm just going to say that um, I'm really excited that I got to do this look for you guys. I know there are a lot of looks going around that are like sunset inspired, so I'm going to try to come up with a really cute name. Let me know what you guys think is a cool name. So here's the look, and let's get into it. So first, I'm going to prime my eyes with Urban Decay Primer Potion in the original version. I'm going to put this all over my lid up to the brow like the huge. Now I'm taking a Sigma flat shader brush and one side of it and the 120 colors palette and that light pink right there. I'm going to tap my brush in it and put it on the first half of my eye. Just keep patting that on there, and um, you also want to kind of pat it up to the crease. Okay, so now that that's done, I kind of went like two-thirds. Now I'm going to flip the brush over, like that's what I'm trying to demonstrate there. And I'm going to use this color right here, and I'm going to put that on the outer third of my lid, but I'm also going to bring it in over half of that eyeshadow. So just keep packing that on and now I'm going to switch to the other side and blend the colors together. Okay, now I'm taking a Sonia Casio crease brush that looks like that. It's dome shaped and that kind of, I don't know how you would describe that. It's kind of like a magenta y purple. And so I'm going to put this on the outer part of my eye, kind of the outer corner, sort of, kind of, and into my crease. And just keep working that in and blending it into the crease. And now I'm taking a tapered blending brush from Sigma and blending those shadows really lightly. Now taking a Sigma pencil brush, yes, I'm using Sigma, no I'm not sponsored by them. Now taking the color right under that magenta which is a tad bit darker, it's like a darker pinky purple. All these colors are pretty pink based and I'm putting that on the kind of outer V of my eye to just darken up the look a little bit and give it a little bit more of definition. Okay, now I'm taking the brush again and blending. Blend, blend, blend. Whoop, whoop. Okay. And I'm blending again. Okay, okay, let me get it. Now I'm showing you the eyeshadow brush that I'm going to use, which is an eyeshader. The same brush, or same eyeshadow we used at first. Putting that on the first third of my lower lash line. How exciting. Okay, now the color again on the middle was the second color we took yeah you guys get it and then the third color we took we're not going to take the darkest color we used and I'm going to connect that to the upper part just to bring the shadows together like that now I'm going to blend that eye I don't know why I blended that eye but we're blending it anyway so now I'm taking a highlight from the Milani Brow Kit and an angled shading brush from Sigma. And I'm putting it under my brow on the brow bone. Now I'm taking an angled eyeliner brush from Sigma. And this turquoisey sparkly color. You do not want to tap off the excess too much because then it won't be pigmented as an eyeliner. So yeah, we are using this as eyeliner. And... Bam, there's fallout. So, I mean, there is a downside to not typing off the excess, but there's a positive side because you actually get the color onto your lash line. So, I'm going to show you guys what to do about that. So, we're just going to use our little fan brush and brush it off our face. Um, it didn't get all the way off, but you guys might not be able to notice that. Okay, now I'm putting it on the lower wa lash line slash water line. I don't know if that's safe, but... You guys can't really see it on camera, but it was there. I promise. 
Okay. So that is the finished look. I already had mascara okay, on. Okay, so since and, the yeah. eyes are so dramatic, um, I'm really excited that I kind of accomplished this because I did not think I could do it, but yay, I did it. And it looks a lot less intimidating when you're farther away, um, but I just really like it. And so for the cheeks, you just really want to keep it nice and warm. I did have makeup on before this video, like I mentioned in the voiceover, so, um, yeah. But the, blushes I'm go the blush I'm going to use is just this nude kind of bronzy color. And I'm using this because I do not want to take away from the eyes. And so this is just a really nice bronze warm shade. And I'm going to kind of place it towards the back of my cheeks more than the front. So yeah. Especially if you're doing a color tutorial, this blush would be really helpful for that. And as for the lips, you want to go very natural as well. So I'm just going to use this Too Faced Glamour Gloss in that weird name right there. And I'm just going to very lightly apply that to my lips. And you are done with the look. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!